computer. And ladies and gentlemen, Ura is truly a international organization, and it's not just that the work we do here in the United States of America or in, in Canada, but we actually will, uh, one of the, like we mentioned before, Rabbi Revson, one of the prime experiences and can be a very powerful key of experience is going to learn in Eretz Yisrael. And we now have with us uh, via webcam uh, some of Ura's uh, students uh, who are uh, in Eretz Yisrael. And uh, uh, if you could just... Uh, uh, we have them here with us uh, is um, Akiva and Chami Goldberger, who are uh, in Eretz Yisrael. They are actually, uh, they are actually uh, there with us, as well as uh, some boys. We have uh, Josh Oav Shalom, Adam Aziz, Ken Rube, and uh, Sean Zubarik, who are there with us. And a good tovach, guys, and how are you doing tonight? Good tovach, good tovach. Good tovach, good tovach. How's everyone? Shavuot tovach. Okay, who am I speaking? Who am I speaking with now? Who's there in the middle, uh, holding the Akiva phone? Akiva Goldberger, Shalom Aleichem. Akiva, how are you, Akiva? And I know that you. Hashem, how's it going over there? Bar, it is. It is excellent. It is just awesome. And uh, we know that you and your wife, you open your home and you try to give uh, uh, Ura boys and girls who are in Eretz Yisrael the feeling as if they have a sibling in Israel during the time that they spend there. And uh, tell us, uh, tell us a little bit of exactly what you do to make uh, these boys' experience in Israel all that much more powerful. Okay, I just want to share one story that will hopefully bring it out. A few years ago, we had a girl that we got very close to, and she used to come to us all the time for Shabbos. Uh, we invited her for the Purim Suda. When she came for the Purim Suda, we had a few of my chavrusas were here, and there must have been like 30 bachram here. And she, being part of the family, she was here helping out in the kitchen. At the end of the year, three, four months later, she tells my wife that the transformation of her decision to marry a guy who is learning Torah, a yeshiva guy, happened during that Purim Suda. And we asked her, my wife asked her, how is that possible? What exactly happened during that Purim Suda when everyone was drunk that transformed your life? And she answered that she, <clears throat> being in the family situation that she grew up, she knows what it means for what men do when they get drunk. <clears throat> and when she saw 30 yeshiva guys, dead drunk, and all they were doing was fighting who should say the next Tvar Torah, and who should say the next story about a Gadol or a Shashiva, and each guy is adding their comments, that's when she decided she wants to marry a yeshiva Torah student. That's amazing. You're giving them the opportunity to kind of really see how uh, a Yiddishkeit lives and breathes and the difference between the Kedusha uh, that uh, Yiddishkeit brings in, in these moments, in these uh, Chagim, uh, as opposed to uh, what maybe someone else would have experienced uh, elsewhere at a different point during their life. You have some boys with you here to, tonight, actually, by you. It's, uh, it's probably uh, pretty early in the morning. Um, yes, we have three boys came. We have Adam Aziz from Great Neck who's currently learning in the Derek program in Yeshiva Ar mm -hmm. And in the middle is Josh Oyev Shalom, also learning in Derek. And on the far right is Kenny Roop, who is learning in Yeshiva Nativ Arye in the Old City, overlooking the Kotel. Also is Yosef Goldberger from Rabbi Shechter's Yeshiva, and Yosef Storch mm -hmm. from Uruz Boizov. Uh -huh. So we actually, um, I guess I, w what we're seeing here is that uh, some of Ura's counselors from Ura's Boy Zone actually go to Eretz Yisrael to learn, and then some of the campers as well uh, will go into Eretz Yisrael, and that shaykh uh, keeps, uh, keeps up even uh, overseas, and that's a wonderful thing to see. Um, I guess we'd start with, um, we'd start with, uh, with uh, Ken, I guess. Uh, Ken, you, uh, Ken, you, you have a, a long relationship uh, with Rabbi Mintz. Uh, can you tell us about the relationship you have with Rabbi Chaim Mintz? Um, I used to go to JFS, and every, every week in JFS, we used to go to Yeshua of Staten Island for Mishmar to learn every week. And then after I finished learning, I used to, um, I used to go to Rabbi Mintz's office just to talk to him. And like, he used to like, ask us trivia questions on the week of Parsha. And then he used to go with like, prizes if we got into his right. And where are you? Where are you learning now in Eretz Yisrael? In Yeshiva and Tevari, right by the Kotel in the Plaza. That's right. It's right, right up on top of it. So that's kind of really a prime real estate that you have. Uh, in uh, you can't get really any uh, cl uh, closer to the to the action. Um, and, and and you continue this relationship with Rabbi, Limps, Rabbi Mintz. Has he been uh, has he been helping you uh, now as you're in Eretz Yisrael? Uh, has Ura been? Uh, have you been in contact with people from Ura nowadays? Uh, now that you're in Eretz Yisrael learning. Yeah, I visit Akiva every once in a while, and I I see them a bunch of times through the year. Excellent, excellent. Thank you so much for coming on tonight. Uh, we have um, uh, we have uh, Adam there as well. Um, 
uh, you had uh, you had uh, no uh, you know, previous connection, I believe, to Ur, but now you're involved. You were with us by some of the Shabbatones that we made, and uh, and now you have uh, developed a connection to Ur. Tell us a little bit about that. Yes, uh, this is my first uh, first encounter with Ur this year, in the beginning of the year. Mm-hmm. I met uh, Akiva, who's, who's in charge here in Yerushalayim. Uh, I come here at least once a month, usually more, just to sometimes to say hello. Um, I came here for Shabbat once, I came on the Shabbatons, like you said, and it's really, um, I can't even describe how much is changing my life this past year that I've been here. I, I've been to a public school a public school my whole life, and it's my first year in Yeshiva, mm-hmm. and thanks to Ura, it's, it's, really been, it's really been something that's changed my life forever. I'm really, I've really gained the Torah and, and Yeshiva experience more than, more than I ever could have imagined. And what Yeshiva are you in now in uh, Yerushalayim? I'm in Orsameach. In our Sameach. Okay, that's wonderful. That's wonderful. That's absolutely wonderful. And who's uh, sitting there in between you guys? Um, Josh. That's Josh, huh? Josh Ov Shalom. Uh, you also, uh, uh, I, I understand that you have quite the shaykhs with all the boys' own uh, staff members. I think that, the, from what I understand, there's really been a, a deep relationship that's developed over there. Yeah, like, I always see them around. We always say hi. Like, I, I encounter them going on Air Shabbat, going through Gula or Gnesharm, I just see them and I, we just start talking. We, we go walking into like uh, Manny's and we, we go look for farm together. It's just, it, it's, it's great they refer like specific farm that might help me to like, in my situation, I, I speak with them. Like they, they care, that's uh, one of the best parts. Mm-hmm. And uh, from what I understand, it's a new thing that Ura now, we don't just have Shabbatonim uh, here in, 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 uh, in America, in the U.S., in, uh, in New Jersey, and uh, uh, for the boys' own and, and girls' own campus, separate Shabbatonim, but also now we have uh, Shabbatonim in Israel as well. So this really, uh, Ura is kind of branching out, and the Kirov aspect um, is, uh, is, is global, as well as the fact that I think it's important that we see how comprehensive uh, Ura's uh, organization is. We don't just uh, drop people off somewhere and uh, have them figure, uh, figure, uh, figure them out about themselves. So, new Shabbaton. And I just would uh, ask you to pass the, uh, uh, the cell phone there to your staff members uh, who are sitting on the side of you there. Uh, who do we have with us there? Uh, we have uh, you are uh, Goldberger. And next to you is... Uh, who's next to you there? We got... Uh, this is Storchi. Storchi. Is, uh, is, is there as well. So you guys uh, have, uh, tell us about your shaykhs with Ura and what you do for Ura. I'm um, friends with a lot of boys from Ura. And we learn. We shmui. And I used to keep it sometimes with some guys. That's wonderful. And, and Sochi, I know that you've been involved with Ura for, for, for many, many, many years. And, uh, and, and, and what, now that you're in Eretz what are you learning in Eretz Yisrael? Uh-huh. And you still have it. You're still involved with. Uh, you're still involved with Ura, even though over there. I know you were very involved here before you went to Israel. Yeah, still involved over here. Doesn't stop anywhere you are in the world. Are you Dover Storch's son? Yeah. Oh, so I went to the same class with your father in Yeshiva of Staten Island. Uh, that's it. That's in 1970. It's an honor to see that his son is is furthering his wonderful work. Chazak ve'mutz. Uh, good tovach, uh, or good morning to you guys. A happy Sunday. And uh, thank you so much for being on with us tonight. Ochana, I just want to ask Akiva one thing. Uh, Akiva, what time is it over there in, in Eretz Yisrael? 8.35. All right. You know, you're speaking here to hundreds of thousands of listeners across the Uri Radiothon. We want to ask you from the Avira de Eretz Yisrael to give a bracha to all of our listeners. The biggest bracha is the bracha of giving. Amen. We should all talk be Zaycha to give. Thank you for joining us. Right, thank you very much, and a good luck to everybody. A good luck, a good luck, a good luck.